Hi Gemini, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for April 19th through the 26th. This will be a weekly check for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I want to thank all of you who have been watching, subscribing, liked, commented, share my videos. I really appreciate that. And if you're new, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and hit the bell if you want to be notified when new videos are posted, which is about once a week. Now, I will be posting your seasonal tarot check for months, the months of May, June, July, and August in about a day or two. So this, um, after this reading, we'll have one back to back right on the heels of it. So here we go for Gemini for the week of April 19th through the 26th. All right. Oh, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for Gemini. We're going day by day here, you guys. We start with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, you guys. Uh, very nice reading for you all. Um, you know, it's, um, you've got an interesting representation here because you have Aries, you have Virgo, you have Gemini, you also have fire, air, and earth, okay? And you have the tower here. So you could definitely be having a change, but I don't feel like that tower is going to be anything catastrophic. I definitely think it will be the universe pushing you forward. Um, I do think you have a little bit of a hiccup here that causes you, though, to go within. So you start off here with this very confident Aries energy emperor. You may be going on Sunday and just reorganizing a lot of things. I mentioned, I think, a week ago that people would be seeing stimulus money this week, which was true. It ended up coming in the next, the last day or two, unless you've had a glitch or you didn't file your taxes, then you could be waiting. But those who filed... Um, the only glitch is really worth being seen by um, national chains, tax change chains like H&R Block and places like that had some delays for some reason. But um, w one, one thing I did hear, um, there was a financial advisor who came on the news, Susie Orman, if you know her, and she really discouraged people from spending that stimulus money. Like if you don't need it, um, certainly if you're on unemployment, then you may need it. But if you're being paid right now to hang on to that, because just as we move forward, kind of waiting and seeing what happens with our economy, it may be more prudent to do that than to go out and buy things or even pay off credit cards. She did say that too. So I don't know who that's for, but it may be something um, that some of you need to hear. So again, this is not a very emotional energy, very stoic kind of energy on Sunday, very business, all about business. You might be working, doing some things, getting some things organized. Um, you do get a bit of a hint of progress on Monday here. Um, so I feel like for you, again, this has more to do with money and just moving forward financially with work, with knowing what's coming next, seeing some organization where previously there wasn't much of any. Um, so by Tuesday here, you've got this Ten of Pentacles, and this is the Wealth card. Um, so for some of you, you may be seeing more financial abundance than you thought was going to be possible during this time period where you're noticing you're just not spending money, you're not traveling, you may be getting money returned to you from things that have been canceled. Um, I know certainly people who are um, enrolled in college have seen refunds of things like parking passes and um, people who have had their kids signed up for summer camp are getting money back from that because those are canceled. So, I mean, with the, all these cancellations, certainly does is coming back some refunds. So, again, for some of you, that could be on Tuesday where you're getting some, some refunds. Now, you definitely have some tumultuous energy on Wednesday and you know we always get kind of shaken when we see this because it can be a quick and sudden change and it's like the universe kind of comes in and says nope we need to change direction and it's a time to release your ego your arrogance so if you feel like you've been you know running more on will and ego it's a huge sign from the universe that it's time to go within 
get more aligned with the source that's within you with who you really are which is your soul um, it can be also too about having some like unrealistic and immature expectations um, and if that's not you it could be people around you but just know that in the end the universe always brings you a gift when the tower appears um, so there's a shake-up but I feel like you're not going to be you know fully deterred by that and this is on Thursday you've got the seven of wands here and it's moving forward regardless of the obstacles so whatever happens on Wednesday you do still continue to go forward you're not sitting still um, and despite problems you are like a major problem solver right now and especially with that Emperor mixed in here Gemini you've got major league problem solver thinking cap on here um, and I think that's going to be something that's going to be rewarded in the long run. You do have a time, though, where you go within. You've got it right next door to each other on Friday and Saturday. And some of that might have just taken the gas out of you a little bit. Might have just gassed you working around this tower movement. And um, for some of you, I want you to be careful about, I'm just getting this, be careful about using your debit card online. Um, that doesn't have to do with this Four of Swords card, but I'm getting it and I want to share that because um, there is certainly on the dark web access to anyone's financial records. In fact, I had a middle school kid that I was treating who told me um, I had my debit card compromised and they always charge the oddest things when they do that. It was like um, $300 to... Um, I cannot remember the name of it right now. Um, it wasn't Vera Bradley. It's more expensive than that, but it's that kind of stuff where they charged all this money to my card and it, they always do it at like 11 o'clock at night. They do it when, or in the middle of the night when people are sleeping. So anyway, I went to my bank and they said, don't use your card online anymore. And they actually set me up with a different kind of card that's much more secure online. But for some of you, be careful of that, that you're going to be compromised in here. Um, if you're one that's been doing that for a while now. But anyway, you do go within, um, and this could even be for whoever that's for, going to your bank and getting direction from the bank. Getting This is really, for, I feel like, getting some resources outside of yourself. So whatever problem comes in for you, you definitely are going to be hooking into somebody, a professional, who has more training, more resources, and they are going to serve as a guide to you where you can kind of slow down and let somebody else do a bit of your thinking for you and give you some direction. And again, we go into this Saturday with the Hermit. This is about being guided, okay? This is the lantern in the night. This is your guide, and this person's telling you, this Hermit's telling you, you are on the right path. It is a nine, and so that's coming to the conclusion of a cycle. So I do feel like whatever kind of janky energy comes in here with this tower and then the seven of wands you go into a somewhat of a protective stance but into a very well guided position um, and then you end with your own energy with the lovers and this is all about harmony balance and union so you may be finding that if you've been in a relationship you may be finding that person is quite supportive and lovely in their energy and their response and it feels like a constant when this tower stuff comes in this helps you to feel like you have a constant in your life that keeps you grounded and makes you feel like home um, for those of you where this has more to do with work again this is a balanced um, like you know a true fit you have a true fit there so um, I again I don't think you're gonna be anything horrible is gonna happen but I do think you're gonna have a little bit of a hiccup that causes you to get some resources here so this is our Abraham Hicks card asking it is given every reality has been focused by someone into being okay so we create our own reality you were taught to face reality before you knew you were creating reality do not face reality unless it is a reality you want to create. For any reality only exists because someone has focused it into being. Those statistics about your experiences and others are not about any hard and fast now reality. Okay, interesting. Okay, so we know that. We do create our own reality. And for those of you that are interested in love, this is a Whispers of Love oracle card. Rest and relaxation is essential. 
we all have a fundamental need to take a break, which I, I like that in this reading because you have the Four of Swords, the Hermit, and then the Lovers. And it, it's almost like, um, you know, when we can rest and be rejuvenated, we will be our best selves in a relationship. So, you know, this shows this beautiful mermaid and she lies on the ocean floor just kind of dreaming. And this card begs you to ask what your idea of relaxing is and just to allow that to become part of your life, to become part of your, you know, sort of your essential um, self-care is allowing for some rest and relaxation. So I love you so much, Gemini, and I thank you for joining me today. I will be back in a day or two with your uh, seasonal tarot check.